here to explain the process of repairing a bracket. Now, who here has had braces? Okay, and for the others, a bracket is basically a small metal component that holds a wire to the tooth. With braces, I'm sure you've seen patients have all these little colors, all the metal, and these wires going across their teeth. That is like the main component of having braces. That's what moves your teeth and straightens them out. Now, when a patient comes in, they should have all their brackets on. But there are some cases where children will not eat properly and their brackets will fall off because they aren't cemented on their glue. So they are quite delicate. So when a patient comes in with a broken bracket, we are notified and we have them sit down. And the first step is to remove the colors, all the little small rubber bands, and the wire. So we can access the tooth. After all those are taken off, we then grab our high-speed drill. This is the drill that most kids get terrified of at the dentist. But honestly, it's just a lot of air and noise. The drill is fluted, and this is what we use to remove any old cement, well, glue, bonding material off the tooth, so we have a nice, clean surface. After that, we begin etching. Etching is... Um, an agent, it's kind of like a clear material, usually yellowish or green, and we apply it to the tooth to prepare it for the bracket. Now, it kind of makes the tooth a little bit rough, kind of like when you're doing pottery, you want to rough up the surface before adding something on top of it so it sticks better and the bonding is more strong. So that's the etching, and to activate the etching, this is what it actually looks like in person kind of tiny, that's why all the drawings are quite big. Um, we have a special roller that pops two different, um, two different wells and they mix the two different agents together to create the etching agent. That's why I wrote pop. And that begins the next step, which is applying the agent onto the tooth. So this is what the thing would look like. It's kind of just a little Q-tip like right now because I was unable to get all the materials, but basically we apply the bonding agent, which is right here, a very small amount, smaller than a pea, and we apply it to the back of brace, and then we use tweezers to place the bracket in the center of the tooth or where it should be, depending on how the tooth is sitting. And once the bracket is set in place, then we use a light. This light is a curing light, so um, it activates the glue and it makes it harden. It's usually blue. They have other colors, but blue is the most common. It's newer technology than it used to be. So it only takes about 30 seconds. And once the bracket is bonded on, we then put the wire. This is what a wire would look like. We put the wire back into place setting it into the back barrels of the brackets. I don't know if you guys can all see that. But once the wire is fitted back into the mouth, we apply colors. Now, these are called sand ties, and most people know them as colors, but what they are are small rubber bands that hold the wire to the brackets. So it's actually very important. And each time you get an adjustment, you change your colors to reactivate your wire. So teeth actually look. And this is a broken mat now, so it's not working great. But what we would do is just hook it back on. I can't do it with this one, but that's the basic idea. After all the colors are set back, we have the doctor come over, check the mouth, make sure that everything is looking as it should, and then we will talk to the patient about how to prevent another breakage from happening either by watching what you eat, not chewing on pen caps. Um, after that, hopefully, they don't break any more brackets and they have a nice smile. So that is my explanation on how to repair a bracket.